Yeah, we're optimistic. We're hoping that uh, we'll be the first country to vaccinate the entire population. That's a good sign. That's another person coming to get vaccinated. Magen David Adom as Israel's national EMS organization. We try to be prepared for the unexpected. No one expected a pandemic um, of this size to affect, to affect us the way which we did. But since the first day when the Ministry of Health requested that we get involved and we assist, in the beginning it was with opening a Corona call centre where we were giving advice to the public. If it was advice about uh, going into quarantine, how to quarantine when they had to go to hospital, uh, advising people when they had to go get tested to get sampled for COVID. We also then opened up our COVID testing stations. If it was the um, drive-through in which at the peak could, uh, could sample tens of thousands of people a day. And the biggest challenge, of course, which was the elderly, uh, especially those who were in uh, nursing homes or sheltered accommodation or at home who couldn't go out to get sampled. We would go there and we'd go to a, a, an accommodation. We'd test everyone. One thing which we succeeded doing was what we call 21-2 means you take 21 days to vaccinate every single accommodation. If it's an old age home, if it's a nursing home, within 21 days, then you start again. This way, you know exactly who you're vaccinating. You have the same teams going to get vaccinated. And in 42 days, you've completed every single sheltered accommodation, nursing home in the country, and the most vulnerable are protected. It was worth it to go to one home just to see the reaction of the people who the elderly who had been there for a year to see how emotional they were about finally having seen some kind of light at the end of the tunnel. It was amazing, incredible. So today we're standing in a Klalit vaccine center in the expo in Tel Aviv. So we have EMTs and paramedics here who are helping, who are vaccinating and preparing the vaccines to make sure that every citizen in Israel has the opportunity to get vaccinated. Just this center alone can vaccinate approximately one and a half thousand people a day. We have what's called MDA in the community, using telemedicine, uh, sending paramedics and EMTs to the houses of patients, and especially those with COVID, checking them and doing medical tests in the house, including blood tests. The results are sent online to a doctor who will speak to the patient, who will give advice, who will give prescriptions, and most importantly, keep the patient at home without him going to hospital. This system can keep up to 30% of patients out of the hospitals, out of the emergency rooms, and reduce the pressure which the hospitals are facing.